So guys, I'm gonna take you through your bench press timeline. Okay, so a series of exercises, of prog progressions to regressions that you're gonna see a lot in your programming. But I wanna start off very simply with the dumbbell bench press. Okay, so we're gonna start on the bench, bum on the edge of the seat, dumbbells starting off with a small weight in each hand. We're then from here, we're looking to transition back, arms straight out in front, finding our feet set on the ground, bum and shoulders on the pad. And from here, we're looking to keep those elbows at 90, deg um, just, in, just um, at a 45 degree angle, just like you would with a push up, dropping the elbows to 90 degrees and pressing off the chest. Now getting confident, synchronizing your hands, finding that good pat that movement pattern and getting confident and building up the weight. From here, we can actually bring in the incline bench press. Okay, so we're gonna elevate the bench we're gonna start to work on a slightly different aspect of the chest, similar exercise to what you've just, you've just been doing uh, previously, but then we're looking now just to kind of work on a slightly different angle, slightly different stimulus, but again, reinforcing good technique. From here, I'm gonna put you onto the floor. I want you to be working on the floor press. This is gonna limit your range of motion. This is actually gonna limit the amount of work that's gonna be going through the shoulder. You can't actually overextend. The reason we want to do this is because it allows us to then be able to like put the weight up uh, more without actually then having a, a, the risk versus reward is less. Okay, because if you fail, elbows are on the ground and you can just pop them on, or you can just let them drop to the ground either side of you. All right, so really nice progressions to be following, building up the capacity, building up the strength and stability of the joint. From here, dumbbells aside, we're now going to be moving into using a barbell. Okay, so again, same setup on the bench, but this time, hand position is going to be different and we're going to have to get accustomed to having a fixed bar to press with. There are some other specialist bars that you can use but essentially a flat barbell is where you're going to be at. Obviously now we're going to be dealing with the stability issues of the barbell being seven foot long etc 20 kilos in, in, in weight you're going to be having to get acclimatize yourself to the, using that weight but essentially building that building that your strength up building at capacity looking to break the bar um, looking to drive through the feet engage your glutes drive through your shoulders so many great little tips that you can do to work on the barbell bench press probably is a, a lot more skill to it than you realize um, because and it, it takes a lot longer than you than you know to build up to body weight strength in regard in, in relation to uh, the squat or the deadlift which you might do much quicker from here, incline variation, again, moving into that more 45 degree angle back position, pressing off the chest. And again, we're just looking to play around and, and, be, and progress you through the different variations of the barbell bench press. Again, working on building up your capacity and strength. You can have decline variations. There are obviously other variations of the bench you can work on, but essentially the incline and, butt and flat is what we're looking to, to kind of finish on and build our max strength with. So guys, lovely progression that you can work through, loads, and you're gonna be seeing all of those at some point in your programming, time and time again, but good to know where you might fit. And again, it's all about kind of building up that capacity.